Let's go. Okay, so this is the San Mai. And you can see I got the shape drawn out on here. And so now I'm just gonna go cut out that shape. You can see the core layer there. This down so it'll focus. You can see the large um, section in the middle, which is the 52100. Those shiny pieces on the outside of that's the nickel. And then the wrought iron is on the outside is the jacket. So I'm gonna take this over to the grinding room and cut that shape out. Okay, so I got the shape all cut out. Now I'm going to do a quick etch to see how the core all lines up. All right, here we go. Look at that. Derek is working on his project. What do you got going on? I got my billet right here all welded up. Got five layers of C's welded together and then uh, re-squared on a 45 to hopefully get a neat kind of S uh, shape going up on the diagonal that I can then forge weld back together into make an explosion pattern. So awesome. Should be pretty cool. Looking good. Thank you. All right. I like that. So you can clearly see the layers on the bolster. It's nice and thick. I'm going to pin it down here. touch mark in the knives and that way since there's a, a taper to the blade I can level it out and still get a nice straight punch on it with this die setup. So now I'm going to put this uh, Go My Blade through the normalization process. First cycle's uh, 1650. Soak that for about eight minutes. And then I'll go 1450 and then 1350 on the third cycle. And then I will uh, quench it, harden it, and put it in the tempering oven two hours twice for 375 degrees. All right, second normalization cycle is all done. Make sure it's stayed straight. Looks good. So this knife here is going to be a brute to forge. I'm going to try to do as little grinding as possible and actually even leave that forge bolster as is. So I got a little bit of layout fluid on the edge of where the actual blade will be. And now I can center mark where the blade is and have a line to grind to 
with this handy dandy little setup here and this perfectly flat granite block. Well, dang it. I bumped it up here again, which I've done every time I've tried to cut clean plunge lines, and apparently I'm not very good at it. But I guess this is how you get practice. Just a, a bummer, because uh, this knife is perfect other than that. So there's the test etch on Derek's bar. It's looking pretty good. Thank you. So I got one of them ready for hand sanding. And then these ones are ready for grinding. Really excited about this uh, Go My. You can see the layers in there. Can't wait to grind into the side and see what pattern is revealed.